All right. Third one. Uh, unfortunately for you all, this one won't be nine hours because I don't have that much time. I know y'all are disappointed after the last one had so much content and probably took you three months to watch, but I've got other obligations. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure. I know. It's just... I feel like strong, you know? Yes, I know. Pushing buttons. As if nightmares weren't annoying enough, it looks like this type can actually possess other creatures and make them stronger. Does a possessed creature have any control of their actions, or are they just trapped in some horrific waking nightmare? Not a very nice thought. There we go. Want me to shatter it? Like this. Strange though. Sound didn't completely go up. That crystal, I shot it once. It's going again. Oh, fuck you then. Guys are very obnoxious. These nightmares try their hardest to possess other enemies, making those enemies a lot stronger. It's literally no new information. God, I fucking range is ridiculous. Is there someone behind me? Why does it keep giving me? They're both dead. Fine with that. Oh, 
Oh, I always thought I shot back exactly where they shot at me, but I guess not. Waste of a charge to attack. Forgot this is what I need to be doing. Murdering. There's a bridge over there. But how do we get to it? Oh. It's a Viking, but a dead one, so a hell Viking. This Hellwalker is just as strong as its cedar counterparts, maybe even stronger. Hell Shadow Archer. It's like one of the shadows, but uses ice magic like a thrown spear. It must be one of the Hellwalkers. I don't worry about that bridge, boy. Here, Do my own boy. thing. Another one. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. This one's confusing. Ymir the first giant. Things spring from his body, not just other giants, but wind, trees, sun, maggots that turn into dwarves maybe. Then Odin kills him, but where did he come from? Can I just blow up any old purple shit? So. Oh, yes, not. Now it's stuck on the other side. I will never get tired of shattering things with this. His friend hit him in the back with poison. Oh, maybe it was that thing. Oh, it was acting like it wasn't dead. <laughs> I think you got him. Down. What goals I got left? I might have to upgrade. I don't know what's on. Seven allies. I do this constantly. I don't know why it's not going up. 25 more parries, burn enemies, wall pins, cleaves. The projectiles are quick but don't stun us. If we rush them, we can take them out of the equation early. Yeah, but you won't be the one taking an ice spear to the face. If we stun or kill a possessed enemy, it will force the possessing nightmare out of their body.
Atreus, to me. I'm caught. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Then we're going the wrong way. Guess I gotta run back and grab another one from down here. Here fell Nerthus of the Vanir, slain by Magni and Modi, sons of Thor. The Jotnir bear witness to the cruelty of this long war. Neither Aesir nor Vanir may triumph, it is foreseen. But what may be left in Midgard before they lay down their arms? The giants wanted peace. No wonder they liked Tyr so much. Alright then. I was absolutely not expecting that. Oh! Use him to destroy that thing. Pretty awesome. Oh, he, apparently he brought all this stuff with him. So he was in there with this other guy? What was he doing? Something creepy. Alright, well where's the last... Like a good majority of these videos is literally just me going, hmm, while I look around for hours. Because I'm super shitty at spotting stuff. Bonk. Break that. Huh. Move, you little bastard. It's never before you start seeing the chest, but I realized that in order to get into that room, I had to come into the chest room first. And I was like, maybe it's in there. One more apple. Oh, 
feel like there's still a lot of game left for there not to be any more of those chests. Be six more total, because I got, I think, five more of those rage ones I need to get. Not long now, Mom. River. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. Broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good. Steady boy, mind your footing. It's one thing almost all video game characters have in common. Hating pottery. What's that guy doing? Charging up for an attack he's just gonna miss. What was up with that dude? Hey, there's a there's a thing at the lake. Hmm. Surprised I can actually see that. That guy's gone. One more to go. Is it me? Or are they getting tougher to beat? No, I'm just trying to do fancier shit. I was just going all out with the other stuff. Easy. <laughs> All right. There must be some way up. Oh, once again. It's the crack. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Have a chill wind blowing in from the east yet? Well, well, well. You know why we're here. My last visit managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see he's not company this time. Must be important if our sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. 
Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Balder, he's one of the Aesir, Odin's son, Thor's brother. He came to our house and fought father, and father killed him, or so we thought. Supposedly he can't feel pain, and now he's hunting us with his nephews, but we don't know why. Most of those are Thor's kids, I guess. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I Not smart enough to get out of that tree. Question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Given time. Nobody there. Just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! I could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can't we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. Oh, it was her ashes that went flying off in that dream or whatever. We're going to Jotunheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need <laughs> to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do what a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This. This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. 
There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. <laughs> Fair enough. A lot of people who don't mind pissing off Kratos and it's just not super good decision. Yuna! We're going to Yuna! We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's. that's. inconvenient. Cool. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. It was looking like he really wanted to know what I picked up out of there, and I was just like, don't worry about it. Do you remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. Hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before you cut off his head. I mean, he asked me to. It's not like I just, you know. Run around cutting people's heads off for no good reason. branch of the world tree boy stay on the path right right I know I can't yes. believe it was Balder that came to our house the Acer god Balder and you fought him and won yes one of Odin's sons Thor's brother and now he's hunting us with his nephews why is this happening if we can raise the head you can ask him okay you know it's silly but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the kind? I mean, your family, before mother and I, where you came from, mother, father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. We jump. Really? What? Well, he said, whatever you do, stay on the path. Bad idea! Oh, cool. So, <laughs> I just killed myself and the little kid. Excellent. Fucking break! Don't hear me <laughs> screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. We are not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Ooh, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better.
Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, oh, I guess good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> you along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. What does he keep messing with on the... Sorry you wasted my time. A rune of the dwarves or something. I don't... I don't know what it does. Dwarf's Mark, I think is what it was called. Since it doesn't do anything but prettiness. These. Mark of the Dwarves, an enhancement that permanently increases runic by four. Okay. My curiosity has finally been sated. Oh, no, that's where you turn the shit. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. First I need to go and get... Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet. Oh, there's a dam. Look, I got dead people all over me. My wife's ashes, us, this head. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language first. Ugh. Did I try to fight those bitches again? One fucking time. Yeah, no. No. Just let me die, boy. Just let me die. Too slow, I'm dead. I guess they're level 6 and 7 and I'm level 3 and that is a very large age cap, I guess. Or level gap, whatever. If you're wondering where I'm going, there was when I was getting on the mountain, there was a spot where I thought I was going to come back down the mountain from there. It turns out I'm not. So... Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like, maybe, a whetstone? 
I like his brother better. Oh, so I can't freeze that wheel. Whatever. Close, no cigar. We used to win cigars from carnival games back in the day. I like the idea of kids going to play carnival games and walking away with fucking cigars. Hilarious. Had to shoot it on the way up and then come back around and get it. Probably ain't even gonna be worth it. It's like Robert chasing mushrooms on fucking Elden Ring. Well, not even mushrooms, fucking. Uh, those fragment, ruined fragments. Like five hours to play, and he spends an hour of it fucking running around after loot. He already knows what it is. Want to waste time? It's a damn shame. It's not even a special chest, so... Oh, nope, that's good. And I missed this? Oh, I didn't come down here, that's why. I think I can upgrade my bracer with that. Uh... Either that or the kid's bow, one of the two. But I think the kid's bow takes multiple. I can definitely stop this one. Nope. Hey, there's another chest I missed. Well, you all of a sudden can't shoot? That one was a hit. I don't care what they say. Where can wolves come from? <laughs> yeah, get jump kicked in your face. Ooh, he was still stuck to the axe. More? Yup. You did. You did. We did it. Well, there's another one. 
They want me to have every fucking unlock to get all these chests out here. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. And what can I do for oh, you? Oh no, he needs hardened. I need hardened. Damn it. What was I picking up? Oh, solid. Nothing to Lame. your liking. Whatever. I see. Ran all the way up there for nothing. Got my ass beat by these witches again for nothing. Jump to go. Not like a crystal bridge or anything around here. Just have to keep doing that every time. It's obnoxious. Man, fuck you, hoes. Oh, what do you know? There's a bridge or a boat right there. I should have kept track of where all I was seeing uh, red crystals at. That's some statue. Who built it, is it? I do not know. could have gone on a trip like this with mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. I wonder if the God of War before this one actually introduced that part, or if there was just a time gap to this one, and then you find out that I like, got married and shit. Here? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. Doesn't sound like you did. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? <laughs> no. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. <laughs> well, alright then. Y'all are gonna be annoying about this. Really? Oh, 
Oh, now she's just gonna beat me with the fucking stick, huh? Oh my god, these things are so fucking obnoxious. You know what? I don't care. You kill her. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? I bet this will lead out. Not looking for out. down there. Alright, kind of feel like Atreus you're here. boxing me in here. Ground, homie. Thanks for the silver. Solid's not the right one. It's hardened. Before you get too excited. Ugh, another one of these damn doors! Ah! Trixie, huh? It's locked magically. You have magic. Unlock them. Boy, over here. Another map. That will find something useful here. I'm the rage. Got 
Damn it. Oops, forgot I had to actually personally beat her ass. Timing on that is so fucking dumb. Another one of those bowls of sand up there. Then I drew the runes into. Not sure how we reach it. Though. There's something up there. Talk about the chest both times. Here, boy. Yes, sir. Fly up there and read those. I assume I was going to have to jump across, but I don't even... Oh, I can't get up there yet. I'm close to whatever that is. Lame. Well, I guess we're done exploring for now. And I guess I have to go back the way I came. That's movable too. Oh, I already moved that. That's the one I threw off the edge. I don't like having to switch uh, arrows. Because I only ever want to use the blue ones because they have the stun. But I need the electric ones constantly for the. Turn back, Acer. Guess the gods are welcome here. Turn back Acer, I hope those are magic runes. Words won't keep the Acer away. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Bitch, we just crawled up out your well. Friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Did you read this Charlie. damn thing? Okay. Hail Frigg, generous Frigg, who gave the world her brightest light, young Balder. Gleaming god, pride of the Aesir, Odin's son, and heir to Asgard. Long may she protect him, long may he protect us. Hail Balder the Golden, hail Frigg beloved of all, hail Odin Allfather. Seems like nobody who counted on the Acer is still around. Dodging you assholes. Yeah. You're next. You quit put oh apparently there's other people here. Watch your right. 
Late to the party there. Oh, this is not what I meant to do. Well, we did now. Another one of those sandals. Want me to read this one? What does it say? Falcon, Hawk, and Turtle Dove. Some aloft in oceans above. Huh? I don't know, sky? Those on the rock. They don't spell anything. It's gibberish. Okay, gotta have something to do with that, I'm guessing. Those runes, on the rock. They don't spell anything. It's gibberish. Fine then, they don't spell anything, it's gibberish. I'll just go inside. Father, she is here. She doesn't it's know she got so a bunch of monsters outside. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what. Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mila. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. I do what I do. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. Oh, that's a fire. Oh, boiling water. That's enough. <coughs> oh, gross. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, that was a lot of, uh, a lot of spit. Well. 
What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Damn. Why did really, there was a way to go back and play the old ones. Her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. Then <laughs> I require your counsel, head. I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Seems like a risky position for a head to be situated. I hope I don't have any chili. Beans, beans, you know what I mean? So, Mimir, why did Freya spin in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. <laughs> he claims nothing harms him. Aye, Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, hmm. as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Nah, the fact that he repeated the same exact thing twice. Sounds to me like someone's making it where that's all he can say about it. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! <laughs> Lil bro's been sweating that horn for hours now. <laughs> Trying to turn it? I put my lips to the horn. You gonna blow a horn with no lungs. Or speak for that matter. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You're a 
remembers me. Who are you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. Pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Sounds like me with the regular tongue. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I like how excited Atreus is to explore. They did a really good job of making him youthful without being like young and annoying. Thought that. Oh, that's the wrong end. says now but it's a name Air. Whoa. the name made it light up store light to the realm towers it's the name of one of the valkyries that's quite curious oh well that door's shut now it was one of those things for him to read in there too So I'm going to have to find a different way to get a boat, because these elevators don't go down far enough. Also, how'd this thing get so dirty all of a sudden? There was always this dirty, I'm just now noticing. There wasn't water on top of this. Oh, maybe when he was pushing it? This was underwater, and I just didn't notice because I was up high. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Oh there! Got another favor to ask you to. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Bari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or are you just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? I vote for gag scrapped. Mostly because I don't know what it means, but also because... The other option is to uh, whatever it said. <gasps> Bro! Oh, damn, he gone. Shitty move, frog. Ugh. 
Another one. No earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock. Don't even look at it. I ain't really trusting Homeboy too much. Like he's just shrugging stuff off too easy. Never seen a lock like that before. Reminds me of something I've seen Tear sketch. He liked to combine various symbols into runes all his own. This one, I believe, means... Peace, unity, mercy, other things too. I see what he did, but how do we get inside? We have other concerns. Alright then. Tell me to go explore, and then when I explore stuff, they tell me to go do something else. Can't win for losing. I have no idea what that expression means. Oh, didn't realize I was going to have to get my cardio in already. This is... Donkulous. Oh, I thought that stretched across the path. I was going to be mad. I was going to be hot. Ugh, there's a boat up ahead. Finally. That's the same one, or it's magically locked. Which way to the chisel? Boat under the bridge, keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. The oarmen are hanging out up there, just fucking vibing. There's an entire city under the water. My lad, a forgotten city. What was it called? Now, uh, well, I forgot. There. Do not make the elevator come down. No, fuck me then, I guess. Well, that's where we're. Well, all right. Oh. Come here. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Who was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. I like that I just set the severed head next to him. So they can have a chat. Another name. Gandrifel. Another Valkyrie. It's no coincidence. But who'd have etched them on Tears Braziers?
steps, that's too far. I don't think this is how I get there. This goes all the way down now, though. So that's something. Don't ask how my boat just teleported back to the other side. Yeah, boom, boom. What the fuck is that? Hey, you? Well, you need to shut up. So I don't think it was him. It was a different sound. Whatever was being noisy, so I wouldn't notice that damn bird. I did notice you. I notice everything. Except for all that shit I definitely don't notice. Yeah, I am. They're beating my fucking ass. Like they always do. Damn, like, oh, come on! Fuck! Hold up. Kidding me? It's just wave and wave and wave of ice! Oh. You can't fight one of them because the other one's just throwing ice. God damn. really hate that my axe is back after that. Fucking deflect that, did you? Bitch. Fight that kid for a little bit. Oh, okay, he's one of the ones that doesn't even work on. Damn it, does it never work? Oh, the axe altogether doesn't work. Never seen one right. of those before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. Only 12 more of those to go. Hey, 
It's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. Thought we finally finished the language cipher. Now we got another one. This looks like a whole ass area. Oh! Ah, Fafnir! I always Ooh. wonder for the game of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir storeroom Fafnir? The very one! But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He was chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads! You know Kratos is going to get annoyed if there's one more voice telling him to do more work. He, oh. That was him. I guess he don't like him either. Up with all that mess. I don't know what that is, but looks like it's going to be a problem. One more thing my damn axe doesn't work against. right into that. Tell what the fuck actually hurts this guy. Oh, bullshit! Okay, parries maybe? Ready to go now. What the fuck is that? What are you doing? Okay. Oh my god, he's still alive. God, whatever. 
Fury about him. Crows, Acer, friends. He's definitely not one of them. Old travelers. I don't see them in here. Oh, cool. Starting right in front of the dragon's breath. That's cool. Alright, so I think maybe parrying is the way to beat him, and then whatever, beat the shit out of him when he fucking pulls that skull out. I never even tried to throw my axe at him. Oh, well. That's fine. What in the fuck? Block it. Beat now, bitch. Oh, dodge too early. Never answered the last question there. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Certain. Trap the Crabbler's armor. I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banyard Goddess. Really wear strong armor, have huge swords, and are one of the toughest enemies we face. Who are they and what do they want with us? Mom never mentioned the Travelers. I hope we don't have to fight too many of them. Yeah, me too. Because that was some bullshit. I'm not a big fan of bullshit. I don't know if you know that or not, but frankly, I find bullshit to be pretty bullshit. Where are you going? A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. I had legs. Here, boy. Interesting. <laughs> if 
Fafnir's Tale. If you're reading this, go away. You don't belong here. This is my ravine, and don't touch any of my stuff on your way out. You're still here. I told you to leave. These are my treasures, and you can't have them. The best stuff is in my storeroom anyways, but don't even think about going there. That place is well guarded. I made sure of that. You just leave me be. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Certainly not any of Vivaldi's stupid sons warning me about the dangers of greed. I only need look in my newly acquired veneer mirror to see what it does to my skin. But I don't care. My treasure makes me feel safe and it warms me from the inside like the breath of a dragon. Get lost, Fafnir. Okay. God damn it. slipped off the thing right as that happened. Oh god, those stupid witches! Excellent. Super fun. Mm hmm. God. What was the, the worst fucking enemies I've fought in any game? Hurry up before he breathes all sorts of fucking lightning on me. Let me go, you wee little bugger. Well, the dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Brilliant skill of the chain, moderate perk activation chance to grant blessing of runic when using a runic attack. <laughs> Assholes, what they are. Fafnir was a dwarf, one of the sons of Ivaldi. According to Mimir, but he was greed, very greedy and his greed turned him into a dragon. It sounds ridiculous, but I saw with my own eyes he was a dragon. I wonder if it was painful to turn from dwarf to dragon. How long did it take? I had a bunch of questions for him, but he flew off before I could ask any. Done. Yeah, and you remember that. Went all the way down here. I remember there was that. Yeah, treasure gotcha.
Well, there's a way up. Oh, god damn it. Focus up, boy! That was good, right? Adequate. Oh, that's just a map. Use RT axle so will freeze them and bring them down to Earth. That's a fucking... Alright then. You do you, I guess. Oh. My bad. I didn't realize I was back here. Weak. I wonder if the axe knows to avoid hitting your kid on the way back, because it will plow into an enemy. that making for an uncomfortable conversation with the missus. Or dwarf. Hey, Sendry, could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Oh. <sighs> The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm, smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Very well. To business. Need a bunch more armor shards. I even have equipped. Oh, I guess it won't show me. This is an upgrade. Some vitality. Defense. All elemental damage. Expensive as shit, though. The plated volunteer stuff looks better, but
I guess smoldering ember comes from the fireplace. I'm not sure if it's trying to tell me to go there or what. That's a keeper. They're a downgrade. Guess that'll save me some money. That looks amazing. Well, oh, it says sell them, they have no other use, so. Where were you even carrying those? Well, that's something. Fine piece of work. It, if I say so. Myself. Try keeping that clean. What else was there? Moderate chance, blessing of runic, high, blessing of runic. level 4 but it's green that heals me. Well, it might be... Yeah, Defiance. I think that's it. Yeah. Basically, parry, parry, parry. Look. 
don't know. I used to think I was good at games, but... Since I started putting videos up, now I'm pretty sure I'm not good at them. Like, at all. What the fuck is that? That's where I came from. I think. Oh! It's Sindri. <laughs> Well, good thing I can't hurt him. Doesn't seem like a good place. Quit hiding shit from me. I'ma find it. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The eight thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. All right, then. What about that Can thing I blew up? Let me get over there. Water looks like it's flowing weirdly fast for the speed that it's going over the falls. Have you made it out of Fafnir's storeroom yet? God damn it, shut up. Act like the well, first thing I do wouldn't be to run to tell you. Huh. Alright, well. This stop was kind of... It's another one of those maps. I can't believe Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants, and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Leia agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. 
The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counsellor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Would you come over here so you can shoot the thing I'm actually telling you to shoot? Oh! What is he doing? Well, he don't give a shit about that, I guess. These motherfuckers got less... Uh, ...threshold for stunning than the damn witches do. Get that bird! Yeah! Fuck you, bird! Oh, don't put me in the corner. Oh, lord. Oh, hell no! God damn, where'd we come in at? Okay. Okay. Oh, really? Is he behind me? That bitch still alive. Workers are similar in size to the regular ones, but they can cover long distance with a single jump and they smell really bad. I wonder if that's why they're so angry all the time. I can barely feel my fingers after that one. I'm trying to get my ass beat all the time. It's supposed to be the fucking God of War and... You don't feel like it. What's that crystal? That's the one that turned on the bridge. <sighs> Never ending. Tell me what. 
Oh, I guess I gotta take that one with me. Oh! Okay then. Get one more hit in before that arrow landed. All right. Well, let's see what's gonna kick my ass this time. Oh, it's a freebie. We'll take it. I guess this needs to go somewhere out there. Not sure where yet. Other side of that gate, probably. Can we go through that door? come out the other side door. If I had waited for two more seconds, I'd have what I was looking for. Firework trick. <laughs> Bitch. That takes care of that. There's where that goes. Fix that broken bridge. Man, I'm ready for this sequel to this to come to Steam. I knew what I wanted you to shoot. Just shot you just trying to make me look bad. Oh shit, I haven't been looking for that last um I haven't been looking for that last room. She could be anywhere. Screaming at me, bird. Get what's coming to you. We look at my son's a terrible shot. Oh, there it is. Hey, 
there, bitch. Alright then. Damn, why is this fucker so aggressive? Gone now, huh, bitch? Really what I meant to do, but you know what? It's fine. I'll take it. Got magic arrows. I can't bring out a bucket. Squirrel. Yeah, whatever you said. Your first call. Oh my God, he speaks. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Alright then. Kinda of rude. Oh, so you can knock down buckets just when you want to. Not when I need you to. Gotcha. really be two separate buttons between can I jump across with this two separate buttons one kick one then get on the ladder will make me run all the fuck away around put that jump there just so you'd have to do this. Fucking barbaric. Can't even tell what this is gonna activate. Am I dumb? What did that do? I'm just fucking dumb then, cuz... Oh. No. Still nothing. Oh! Wonderful. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> oh my god, he's level 8. Oh my god.
Not care. Can I jump gaps while I'm in combat? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Oh, wrong one. I guess I still hit him. Oh my god, they can jump gaps. Excuse me. Don't hit me. That's how you're supposed to play the game, right? This is what the God of War does. Three left. I need to upgrade that fucking ability because. Boy, this kid's winning this fight for me. With hands fucking down. I'm not ready. Well, that was not going to do, obviously. Tusker. Oh, it's the fucking hammer again.
That kid right there, he the real winner. Father can dodge his mace depending on the type of swing. Looks like it's, well, I think he's saying it's best to dodge sideways during the vertical one and forwards during the horizontal one. Brand of the realm. I have no idea what that is. Very good. Okay, I can't equip this, I guess. Squirrel it is! Obviously, that's completely what I wanted. Ah! Axe Throw Mastery. Increase axe damage of all throws by six. The direct upgrade to this one. No, it's the exact same as this one. Oh, it just gives 14 vitality. Oh my god, and it's level 7. That's the highest level thing I've got. Alright. Hard fought battle. Still have that chest to open down there, too. my health fully upgraded this is locked up good aren't they all aren't they all I saw this teardrop thing while I was up there I'm all aboard for permanent upgrades Okay. Obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Brand up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than her. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. <laughs> so would I. I don't know, I don't think that head can really be to blame for that. He was trying for peace, he didn't know Odin was going to be, you know, a big-ass dick about it. From what I've heard, I guess if he knows Odin's always a big-ass dick, then boy, that's different. Yes, Treasure map. All right. I heard a bird. 
You didn't know, bird's the word. There you are, you bitch. No! Might as well steal this loot, since homie don't care. Another piece of the language cipher. Good. You dare to stomp on me? Okay, well, the weak spot's not weak when he's fucking shooting laser beams at me. He was just not gonna fucking stop! I always forget I have to. And fuck you with your little mortar shells. Is resist to poison by 50%. Soul devoured, ancient whose soul has been removed by dark dwarven magic, it's stronger than a regular soul eater, and even those still terrify me. Honestly, kind of felt just the same. I already grabbed that. And another island checked off. I don't remember what he was in charge of. Engineering? Think engineering. Hey, you are full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? He just insulted you. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> so you want a cook or do ya? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Hrungnir, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but... No. Hrungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Hrungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrungnir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh, no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrunir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hrunir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. 
That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so... Mighty giant made of frost and stone looks like he had a huge fight with Ace here in Vanagra. Oh, Hunger the Brawler, head of stone, but the mind of a child. Odin tricks him into getting drunk and rowdy in Asgard. Thor smashes his head, but he ends up crushing everybody laughing. Pretty as myth and legend. Acer are the worst. We're not getting in there without a key. Oh, I guess this isn't the place that had the key. Have the key to the strong room or whatever. The head's gonna end up going overboard. Be rocking precariously close to the edge. Yeah, that's sort of like stone golem was something like that. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. That's the witch's cave, I think. Oh no, there's a item in there. Snatch that bad boy up. You want a beach here? And I guess there's a beach here. Turn the damn boat around. Always be climbing. I'm the god of climbing. Just judging on my climbing to war ratio. The damn bird at. Yeah, I hear you, but where are you? No, that's a different bird. Damn, is that another one? Fucking wounded. Is that damn bird? Ah, time to get my ass beat again. A, a dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Well, there's two of them, so. I forgot to do the uh, boulder toss thing. Fast! Damn! God damn it. Hang on. I didn't think I had any more of those. Right. Not particularly. Fuck. God! 
was looking at the one behind him. <sighs> These things have too much fucking health. Goddamn bird. Asshole. Shit ton of my health just right in the middle. Arrows don't fucking distract them at all. I blocked. God. Excellent. Rasmataz didn't find me any help like I wanted him to. God. Get up, brother. What the fuck? Dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Ooh, I don't even have my axe on me for whatever reason, right off the bat. Man, I was so fucking stupid. And you can hit me in my rage. So fast. Whatever. Brother, get up, brother. The fuck ever. Grab the Oscar. Let me 
respect for my time. Wolver! A wolver! A dangerous beast. What in the fuck? That's uh, fine, it's fine. I'm so so fucking done with that fucking ability. I <laughs> can't even fucking get up before he's using it again. Excellent. Okay, so dodge the charge and run away. Because they're just going to keep following up with more shit you can't block. Yeah, parrying their strikes is effective strategy. Yeah, uh -huh. I've seen it. Works perfectly. Rock the oh, please. Walk it off. A, a dangerous beast. You will take yeah, I love losing a quarter of my health in an animation. See how you parry them, and then they fucking jump back so you can't even hit them? So I don't know what they're talking about where parrying is supposedly such a good fucking strategy. This is... Some absolute bullshit going on right here. beast we will take him down together god uh, you fucking kidding obviously that's not what I wanted to do okay so that time it was a blockable attack I don't give a fuck honestly This is a beatable fight. I just can't fucking... Can I change this yet? Thank god. No. I, I'm literally stuck with this fucking squirrel. Oh, come on! You're fine!
Just get as far the fuck away as I can because. We'll take them down together. Nope. Excellent. I love it. Even one of them would just fucking pay attention to him. That's fucking it. I'm just so fucking done with this. God! You could get his attention so I can get that fucking hell. me he's in this fucking form Man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, sweat like crazy. Looks like an even tougher breedable, or they're smarter too. Really, really dangerous creatures. Glad my bowstring has some magic in it, otherwise I'm not sure how we'd bring these stronger ones down. It's the same Dust of Realms ass shit I've been getting this whole time. It wouldn't even like better. Great, what the fuck is this now? Yeah, absolutely nothing. There's no king back there! 
<laughs> yep, everything's fine. This is this is like turtle maneuver this motherfucker's doing. Okay, last time that was down swipe and then the side swipe that was parryable. Oh, and they hold their trophy above their head. Oh, thank God. Mm, didn't have my fucking... Little homie just tanking up a storm over here. God, this motherfucker shield is just in fucking finishable. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those stranger? Who's that? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Uh. I mean, you gonna read it in light? No? Okay. Well, whatever then. See what's in the back of this cave. Wait, it's no more of that shit. 
I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagal, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice. And there in the void, they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father as if he was the creator and not the creator's dis... So Ymir came from fire and ice, and all land's creatures came from his flesh, including the Aesir, who then slew him to create order. In other words, to take control. The first giant was Odin's first victim. Troyer, the small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh, sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. I wonder where the similarities between this lore and Greek come from. We're not getting in there without oh, a king. Goddamn. Fucking king in everywhere. Actually, I'm going to. Uh, I got a shower and stuff, so I'm going to stop this one and then I'm going to come back and play some more. Some of the next one will be kind of short, but. Yeah.